Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 5H notes on box and whisker plots. After this, you should be able to draw a box and whisker plot with the five number summary, and then you should also be able to calculate if there are any outliers in the given data. All right, so let's get right into it. The five number summary is basically the minimum value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum value, all stuff that we've um, dealt with in earlier sections. So here's what a real basic, here's the box, and then these are called the whiskers of the box and whisker plot. Okay, so a box and then whiskers. Okay, minimum value goes at the very bottom. Lower quartile is this line right here. Median is right here in the middle. The upper quartile right is right here, and then the maximum is here. So interquartile range is all the stuff that is within the box, right? And then the actual range of the whole thing is the stuff that's between the two whiskers. All right. Now, with that, um, outliers. Outliers are basically extraordinary data basically data that's much larger or much smaller than most of the rest of the data that kind of starts to skew the data. Okay, So we need to figure out if there are outliers and there's a nice way to calculate that and that is this here. So to test for outliers we're going to use the following. To find the upper boundary um, basically any data that's larger than the upper boundary is considered to be an outlier. To find the upper boundary you take the upper quartile this value right here and then you add 1.5 times whatever the interquartile range is okay? and that gives you the upper boundary. The lower boundary is the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Okay, So um, we'll want to remember that because we're going to do an example on that. All right, So let's take a look at our example. And that is example 19 from page 148. A group of random people were surveyed and were asked how many action figures they owned. The following data was collected and of course here's our lovely assortment of action figures. I actually owned one of these when I was a kid by the way. Moss Man. So I know, don't be jealous. It's okay. So here's the data. So all these random people, this is how many action figures they owned. Okay, so draw a box plot and marking outliers with an asterisk if they exist. So first thing we're going to want to do is order all this data so that we can figure out our median and our uh, quartiles so that we can figure out the interquartile range, all that kind of good stuff. So let's start organizing. All right, so lowest number I see on here is a 1. So let's do that one. I don't see any twos, but I see a couple of threes. No fours. I don't see any. There's a five. Um, are there any sixes? There's a six there. And then there's some sevens. One, two, three of them. One, two, three, eights, and a nine, oh wait, did I miss this eight? One, two, three, four eights. Okay, and then there's, let's see, we got this one nine here, and there's another nine there, so there's two nines. There's a ten, and another ten. And I don't see any 11s, but there are, there's a 12, and then a 13, a 14, and a 16. And that's all of our data. All right, so let's find the median of this thing. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we got all, we got, there's 20 of them, apparently. So we take our 20 and divide it by 2, and that means there's 10 below, 
should be 10 numbers below and 10 numbers above. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here is our median. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, just making sure that there's 10 above. Now, we take our 10 and divide that in half so that we can find our quartiles, our lower quartile and our upper quartile. So there's going to be 5 on each side down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's the lower quartile. And then we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Here's the upper quartile, right? So now we have enough information to figure out what our interquartile range is, right? So the inner quartile range is going to be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So interquartile range in this case, average of 10 and 10 is 10. And then our lower, lower quartile is the average between 6 and 7, which is 6.5. So our interquartile range is 10 minus 6.5, which gives us 3.5. Okay, so now for outliers. Let's see, outliers. Remember for our upper, to test the, the, our upper bound, we have to take our upper quartile, which is 10, and then we add 1.5, oops, times the inner quartile range, which is 3.5. So this is our upper bound. Alright, so let's calculate that out. So we've got 10, oops, got to turn it on. 10 plus 1.5 times 3.5 gives us 15.25 is our upper bound. Okay, so there's our test for the upper bound. Uh, and if you take a look here, 14 is okay, but this one here is, in fact, an outlier. Okay, so let's try our, let's calculate the lower bound. So lower bound. We've got, we take 10 and then we're, remember, oh sorry, not 10, but we got to take our um, lower quartile, which is 6.5. And then we got to subtract 1.5 times our inner quartile range, which is 3.5. Okay, so let's try that out and see what we get. 6.5 minus 1.5 times 3.5 and we get 1.25 is our lower bound okay so that means anything lower than 1.25 is going to be an outlier and sure enough we've got one in here and so this is also an outlier all right, so now we have all the information that we now need to make our fox and whisker plot. Okay, so with that, I'm going to actually move this up here a little bit so we've got a little bit more room to make our fox and whisker plot. So what we want to do is you always need to have a title. So let's see, this was our... Let's see, action figures own. So let's call this number of action figures.
owned is our title of our box and whisker plot. All right. You also need to, down below, you need to have a scale. Okay, and we obviously need to make sure that that scale goes all the way down to 1 and goes all the way up to 16. So let's, I don't know, I'm going to start it down here at, say, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, let's just go every 5. Okay, so there's our scale, and then here's our title, and now we can make our box and whisker plot. So let's do this. Now, again, here's our outlier at one. So it says to draw a box plot and marking outliers, and mark outliers with an asterisk, asterisk if they exist. So we have an outlier here at one, so we're just gonna make a little asterisk there. So then really our first point on our whisker here is going to be at 3 and then our lower quartile is 6.5 so there's 6 there's 6.5 so there's our lower quartile median is going to be at 8 there's our median our upper quartile is at 10 our upper end of our whisker is at 14 so there's our other whisker and then we have an outlier at 16 so we'll make another asterisk there at 16 so then to draw this we just make a box out of these connect our whiskers and that is our box plot our box and whisker okay if you really wanted to, to be, you know, super accurate and clean, you can always put what these exact numbers are up here. So, like, I might put a 3 there and a 6.5. Not completely necessary, but it doesn't hurt. This here is 8. This is 10. And this is 14. And I guess we really could put that this is 16 and this is 1 also. Okay. Again, without that, you're still okay, but that just makes it, just takes away any confusion. Confusion if this line here is supposed to be at 6.5 or 6.4 or 6.3 or whatever. Okay? So um, that's all there is for this here. So we should now be able to draw a box and whisker plot with the five number summary. That's what we just did down here. And then we are also able to calculate if there are any outliers, and that's what we did here. All right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.